cheating is natural cheating is in our genes i'm not saying that to offend you if you feel offended then um i don't know we'll get a glass of wine if that relaxes you i'm not just talking about men we cheat too women right oh there's a lot of <laughs> women than men i don't know statistically i cannot prove that so uh, in order for all the women to have a man they need to share that man so i don't think we are meant to be faithful to one human being you're not going to tell someone to only eat steak for the rest of their life or to only eat chicken for the rest of their life i'm not comparing the human being to food let me see am i there's some similarities though because we eat food we eat human mm, you know what i mean in africa it is okay to have multiple wives it's no big deal everyone loves on each other the polygamy is what is expected and they even find some type of formula and saying that a lot of <laughs> women than men in order for all the women to have a man they need to share that man so my grandfather had five four wives if four five I mean, four wives it's not natural to just have sex with one person for your whole life either for men or women to willingly have sex with one person for you cannot just have rice you need to eat some time plantain you need to have some couscous there's so many stuff to explore sometimes you want a ratchet girl like a ratchet nasty sometimes you want a, a woman that is more structure more politically correct and sometimes you just want the person with ingenious person that is uh, seems to be very fragile and delicate so it's okay the same thing you have a good man at home sometimes you just want someone who grab you by your head by the way when i say grab it's just grab don't come and touch and try to see what's in there yeah sometimes you just want that person and your husband's not that person someone kept on emailing me after i upload the video about should you tell your partner if you ever cheat on them my answer didn't change whatsoever you shouldn't cheat if you can but if that happens to you just don't tell you don't you don't tell people i'm not gonna come and say you are cheering you matter of fact if you think i'm cheating on you it's on you the burden of proving that i'm cheating on you is on you i'm not gonna never gonna confess never ever gonna confess In african we don't confess stuff like that the flesh is very um weak sometimes you know it's not always easy you know what to do you know i know i gained like 70 pounds i'm not even kidding i have gained 70 pounds i know what to do but I, i'm just i'm not just doing that it's not because i don't love myself i love myself because i love food but i love myself too but i can't decide so it's just a love hate relationship the same thing you might love your partner but you can resist but you shouldn't be punished because you're you went out and you i don't expect my partner to be faithful because I, it's just unrealistic it's not something that is natural to us as human being it's not natural and i'm not gonna condemn someone or kill them because they have a sexual relationship or intimate relationship with someone else that was not me even if we are in a community relationship it's gonna happen now it's up to you to um, be open to your partner let them know and see how they deal with it or don't tell them if they don't know it won't hurt cheating is very overrated people are tripping over their partner cheating is always something about oh, have you ever cheated or uh, was a cheater always a cheater i was watching a uh, marriage book camp and people seem to now uh, move on from cheating situation because you guys have high expectation you know I, I don't believe we are meant to be a one person partner it's not a big deal maybe coming from an African background we have the polygamy uh, it's just for men 
which is not fair that's the only thing that i don't think is fair that a man could have as many wives but not a woman and and it's legal but coming from that background where you used to share your husband your partner without any issue people get along you gotta let people do what is good for them we gotta stop judging people we gotta stop wanting people to be at some level we gotta let people live their own life i don't think we are meant to be faithful to one human being you know come on there's so many countries there's so many outfits today you want to wear pants tomorrow you want to wear a dress the next day you want to wear shorts you want to wear i don't know a, a suit the same thing you have a lot of food today you want to eat banana fruits vegetables carbs meat i mean all type of meats you're not going to tell someone to only eat steak for the rest of their life or to only eat chicken for the rest of their life. Today you want to eat some rice and tomorrow you want to eat some pasta. The day after you want to eat... I'm not comparing the human being to food. There's some similarities there because we eat food, we eat human. You know what I mean? And in both situations we have satisfaction, we have pleasure. You guys should stop tripping about, oh my god, you cheating on me, oh, it's a cheater, a cheater, whatever. Don't expect people to be faithful. I don't think we are meant to be faithful. I don't. The thing that I will have a hard time dealing with is the consequences of infidelity. Like, if you cheat on me and you give me a disease, oh my, we are going to be in a bad bad situation to not bring dirt on me go cheat your stuff if that's your route but don't bring disease don't bring a bastard i'm sorry don't I i'm not gonna deal with that i remember a uh, basketball wife evelyn and chad she told him I don't want you to cheat, but if you go cheat, just wear a condom. I will have the same conversation. But she got mad after. I don't know why. Yeah, wear a condom. Make sure you have a condom. Make sure that you put it yourself. Make sure that there's no needle or whatever. And go get your stuff if you can't resist. I'm not going to kill you. I mean, personally, it's not a big deal. I don't want my husband to go F someone that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying i don't expect him as a human being to not look at someone and wanted to be with that person in some type of way it's life life comes with cycles cycles come with ups and downs so you don't expect someone to be at the same level every single time it's draining you don't ask that to your husband you don't ask that to your wife you don't ask that to your partner so cut them some slacks if they cheat it's no big deal it's no big deal like you used to say in africa there's not a lot of men for each woman so it's okay for a lot of women <laughs> to shame men statistically i i don't i can't prove that but it's just <laughs> I don't know who came up with that. It's, it's, it's funny to me. It's funny to me. It's really no big deal. It's really no big deal. No. So that's my two cents about the subject. Be respectful. If you felt offended because I said cheating is overrated, because I say don't expect your man not to cheat or don't expect your woman not to cheat, that cheating is natural. Cheating is in our genes. I'm not saying that to offend you. If you feel offended, then, um, I don't know, we'll get a glass of wine. If that relaxes you. Don't forgive them if they cheat. Don't take them back or do not cheat. I mean, if you feel offended, there's really nothing I can do. Chill. She likes, if someone cheat. It's just cheating. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of love for men. And hatred from women. I don't know why. I'm not just talking about men. We cheat too. Women, right? Oh my. <laughs> Anyways, okay, don't cheat. Your man doesn't cheat. 
he will never cheat because you're the best thing that ever happened to him and he only brave you think about you and you're the only person he has in his on his mind and the only person he ever gonna enjoy uh, <laughs> good luck with that when I took my vows I said for better or worse till death do us part so if cheating is the worst part, you just deal with it. Au revoir mes amours!